My name is the Luis Felipe Delgado Aparicio. Uh, I'm naturally from Lima, Peru, but I live in the United States. I work at the Princeton Plasma Physics Laboratory, and our main goal is to develop energy for mankind. Well, let's begin differentiating two things. One is nuclear fission, one is nuclear fusion. Nuclear fission, the one we have in the world, is to cut a very heavy material like uranium, like plutonium, like thorium, and you cut a heavy material with a big knife called a neutron and you produce a, a radioactive a, a, a element. That radioactivity is difficult to handle. It's extremely, extremely difficult. Fusion, on the other hand, is a completely different process. You don't partition anything. In fusion, you unite things. You bring things together. And you bring the lightest element in nature together. And that is hydrogen from the water. Yes, we use a different kind of hydrogen. It's not the hydrogen, the typical hydrogen, the H from the H2O formula. It's called heavy hydrogen. Those are the isotopes of a hydrogen called deuterium and tritium, which you can find in the oceans as well. So it is safe because if something will happen to the reactor, the number one consideration will be broken, and that is vacuum. So if vacuum is broken, the plasma simply, simply vanishes and nothing happens. In the other case of fission, for example, uh, you might remember what happened in, in Fukushima in Japan. When the power is lost in a reactor, the uranium still gets hot and can still f f do nuclear fission reactions until it cools down, until it explodes. In fusion, it's completely the opposite. If something would happen to your container, the plasma will basically disappear in a small fraction of a second. Thank you.